Yeah, so I'm going to record this and um, we've just had a really nice chat about what practicing for the benefit of all beings means to each of us and just explored it a bit. So um, if you're watching this on recording at a later date, I would recommend stopping and just giving yourself like two minutes or something, two minute timer and just write down on a bit of paper what you think, what practice for the benefit of all beings means to you, just so you can kind of feel into that and get a sense, and then it might be interesting to review it after the end of the meditation. So I just wanted to say that before we start. Nice. Cool, so we can just um, settle in. And take a few slow breaths. We can start by dedicating this practice for the benefit of all beings. And I'm going to use, I'm going to repeat Yost's phrase that he has just created. May my heart open to the true dignity of all life. We're going to start by feeling into this being, that's you, and just getting a sense of how this being is doing today. How your body feels, how your emotions are. And just feeling into that sense that when we take care of our needs, when we feel good in ourselves, when we have a sense of our own dignity, that that in and of itself is a really nice, it's a really nice thing to give to karma and the universe and all beings. Ultimately, we're here to be the universe having a nice time with itself. If we can start that at home, start that in ourselves. And do that from a really sincere, open-hearted place then that will naturally spill out into the world. And there's things in life we can do to take care of our needs, so nice food, comfy home, physical touch. And 
there's things we can do in practice. And finding a practice that feels really supportive to you, that feels good. Maybe some jhana practice, dropping into a nice sense of energy in the body. Maybe some imaginal practice. Maybe there's an area of the body that wants some care and attention or that feels pleasant. Maybe there's something you're holding on to that's accumulated from life and stress. It needs to be released. So that can be practiced for the benefit of all beings too. Releasing anger or sadness. Finding a healthy way to express it through practice so that you don't have to carry it anymore. Even just slowing down, giving yourself space, time to breathe. Remembering that meditation practice isn't it's not another thing that needs to be productive in the same way that other things do. It's here for you, it's here for the benefit of all beings. And just trusting that allowing yourself to be for a while is for the benefit of all beings. We're just going to widen the circle a little bit. So we've gone from ourselves, our bodies, the part of the universe that is each of us sitting for the benefit of that. We're just going to open, open ourselves up a little bit, widen the circle. And we're just going to include each other. And just feel into that. Give yourself a bit of time to open. Notice the impact that that has on your experience, where you feel it. For me, there's a shift into the heart space. From the body to a nice kind of open heart.
and just feeling into sitting for the benefit of each other and including ourselves in that. So this circle of experience that includes all of us. And the things that we need and that we give to each other. So a sense of connection. Sharing with each other, listening. The commitment and the reliability. sense of trust and just spending a bit of time feeling into that, relaxing into it doesn't need to be anything major, it could be quite subtle or it could bring up strong feeling strong emotions, just allowing space to recognise that we're sitting in this circle for the benefit of us. As a nice practice, maybe that you have an imaginal sense of that or a felt sense of it. Um, but if you want a focus for this practice, for this part, maybe just breathing into the heart. As you breathe in, get a sense of us connected together and breathing out of the heart. We're just going to widen the circle again. So we're going to widen out into our sort of conceptual, conceptual world. So expanding out into, I guess, the part of our experience that is kind of held by the mind or the heart mind. And it's this idea that we have of all beings, the world. We 
whether that's animals, bugs, plants, or humans. There's no right or wrong way to connect with a sense of all beings. just realizing that all beings still includes you, still includes us and then we're just opening up the circle a bit more, opening our minds, seeing, noticing how we perceive the world, notice if there's any beings that are excluded from our idea of who we're practicing for, which is fine, um, but just notice. And yeah, just maybe thinking about how Imagining that if everyone had the space and the time to connect with their own needs, to connect in a healthy group setting like this, and then space to kind of open up and practice for the benefit of all beings. Just thinking about if there would be a few more smiles on people's faces. A bit more openness, receptivity, inclusiveness. Remembering that we don't need to solve anything. But just that little shift in karma. How the impact of that could kind of spread out through the world, through all beings.
and also just allowing time for that to process. So we talked a little about how that can be quite a scary and intense idea because there's so much difficulty in the world and how connecting with those emotions can be one of the best things you can do to practice for the benefit of all beings if that's what's there we can make space for that feeling into what's there when we think about all beings it allows us to be grounded and real to not turn away from the challenges of the world just making space for the emotions and not worrying about the bigger picture is sometimes what's needed. And finally, widening the circle even further, we're going to reach the circle all the way out to the cosmos and just all time ever, so since the beginning of time to the end of time. If that feels overwhelming, we can remember that, that, like Tara said, if you run, if you go all the way to the end, you come back at the beginning again. But just feeling into that sense of this whole interconnected system, this whole interconnected being, Allowing that perspective to create a sense of emptiness, so in that time frame of 30 billion years or whatever cosmic time frame you want to choose, there's a sense that it's okay, we don't need to fixate on things as much as we sometimes think and there's a bit more freedom to express ourselves and in a way that kind of open meaningless time frame where nothing really matters really allows us to drop into what actually matters It's like we've gone so far out, all the way out, starting from the body and ourselves 
opening our hearts to each other, opening our heart minds to the world, expanding out all the way into the cosmos. And then we come back into ourselves because you're the cosmos. And the only way the cosmos has of experiencing itself is through these beings in this moment. And maybe for the last five minutes, we'll just feel in to see if we can blur the boundaries between those things a bit. So we've got you, this body. Maybe there's a sense of jhanic energy or some nice sensations in the body that you can feel into. And then we've got us. We can just feel into the connection between us. And then there's the world. Continually changing, continually moving. And then there's the whole cosmic system. expressing itself through us and through the world. just allowing that to express itself however it wants through emotions, through felt sense, through the imaginal
may our practice be for the benefit of all beings. Nice. We can end the meditation there. Ding.